Lee, thanks. And getting right to some breaking news, a baby's recovering after a near drowning in a Tampa home overnight. Yeah, News Channel 8's Jana Jones is live in Grant Park to bring us up to date. Uh, and they still have the crime scene tape up, right, Jana? Good morning to you both. They certainly do. That baby is less than a year old. And as you mentioned, the crime scene tape is still up. There's a forensic van here, and I'm told that this is standard procedure during these sorts of incidences until the police hear, hear back from the doctor to hear that this was an accident and not negligence. Police got a call around 1.30 this morning that a baby was underwater in a bathtub. One of the baby's parents went to turn the stove off and came back to the bathroom to find the baby underwater. Again, that baby is still in the hospital right now. And we've been here all morning and you might see these people sitting on the ground behind me. They've been being called into a home one by one. I believe they are getting interviewed by police. We're not sure about that, but I have seen a couple people get up, go into the house with officers, and we are told that this crime scene will not be broken down until they complete all of their interviews and talk to everyone who was at the home whenever this baby started to drown. So again, we don't know how long this crime scene is going to be up for, but it's been up for several hours at this point, and we do not know if that baby is a boy or a girl. We're not being told too much information, but when we learn anything else, we'll update you on air and online. But Gail, the good news in all of this this morning is that baby is expected to be okay. Oh yeah, because like you were saying earlier, you've gone to scenes like this that have had a very different outcome. All right.